Okay, morning everyone. Uh, welcome to the briefing for Tuesday the 27th of February. Okay, looking at the synoptic today, uh, overnight, not really a whole lot going on. We're in a fairly slack area. Uh, that low pressure we had yesterday has moved away uh, quite quickly. Uh, so we're left with a fairly light breeze today and you see at midday we've got an approaching warm front uh, which is followed by a cold front. I think this is quite a weak feature and we're probably right on the end of it anyway, but we probably will see some effects of that. Uh, continuing on to tomorrow, uh, winds increasing a little bit and more frontal systems moving in and similar picture on Thursday. Uh, really depend on the positioning of this cold front, depending on what we get out of Thursday at the moment. Winds today. I think generally from the west, uh, towards the south coast, it's showing, showing about 300, a bit further north, about 240, uh, between 10 to 25 knots. So probably about 15, 20 knots generally from the west at height today. Okay, Sapic, you can see sort of bands of cloud here and some shower activity, it looks like, up to the northwest. And you can see that on the rainfall radar as well. Um, Quite a lot just off the coast of the Isle of Man over here, but I think that's going to be fairly dissipated by the time it gets anywhere near us. Uh, rainfall forecast then, you can see as we go through the morning, the, the chance of maybe a little bit of drizzle a bit later on, perhaps about midday. Otherwise, going into the afternoon, it does look like it's going to be a little bit more damp, although there's not going to be any significant showers. We see that warm front looks like quite a weak feature and it is moving quite slowly. So I don't think it's actually going to cause us too much of a problem. Public forecast then showing sunny intervals this morning and then thicker cloud into the afternoon, as you would expect with a warm front. And likewise, the temperature increasing um, to about five or six degrees by the afternoon. Steady breeze from the west southwest and most importantly, humidity sat very high at the moment. 98% and it's not getting below 90 till between 10 and 11. So that explains why I've got the view outside at the moment. Gets down to about 70% throughout the day and then starts to increase from about three o'clock, but not nothing too high. I think that's going to cause us any problems. GFS is showing at midday temperatures to possibly seven degrees, more like six, uh, with dew points at quite low at one or two. So uh, actually should be quite nice at midday. That's the current view outside, a bit of refresh. And actually cleared in the last 10 minutes quite a bit. Uh, pretty cold at Lasham, one and a half degrees, two points just sat below freezing. Okay, Odium's latest was fog, unsurprisingly, and their forecast, fog this morning, uh, becoming few clouds at 400 feet until 11 a.m. they're showing, um, and then scattered at 2,000. It looks like for the rest of the day, maybe ever so slightly lower. And then they're showing some broken clouds quite low from about 5 p.m. So that could be that warm front and a little bit of light drizzle. Farnborough, similar picture. They're showing broken at 200 and mist. Uh, becoming scattered at 3,000. Okay, top meteo. This is 9 a.m. showing the fog we've got at the moment. 10 a.m. still showing the fog. And 11 a.m. it's showing it lifting. So a little bit later, looking at top meteor, maybe not flyable until 11. Going into the afternoon, um, they're showing really nothing to be worrying about at all. Um, weather arriving by about six, seven o'clock. Okay, there's no NOTAMs close to us that you need to worry about. Operation Lee is gonna be a fairly standard winter 2-7 setup. At launch point in the normal position and the cables be running down the southern edge of the runway. I think the wind is fairly straight down the run so we shouldn't need too much correction. Aerotone from it will be from the north side of the runway as normal and all circuits onto the grass which should be actually fairly firm at the moment so no landings on the runway today. We've got 2K21 today, 774 and 778, 2K13s, Charlie and Sierra. Just the one baby grub, SH6, and all three discuses are serviceable. Uh, ground handling, just keep up with towing on the winch hook. Um, you, hopefully, most of you have seen the guidance we sent out last week. Uh, lots of good stuff in there, so have a look at that if you haven't already, especially if it's a bit of a slow start this morning. Uh, please don't sit on the wing roots of the K21s, and please make sure we're lifting the tail wheels. 
especially of the tail heavy gliders when we're turning them. So SH6 today, make sure you're lifting the tail up or using the tail dolly if possible. No movements today um, and simulated serviceable, but I don't think it's going to be too long until we're going out there. So I suggest we head out soon, get the gliders DI'd and then we're ready to go as soon as it clears. Okay, looks like a reasonable day. Bye for now.